course, some salutations. First one, inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, into chair. And then we twist the chair. Over the shoulder. Back to chair. Twist the other way. Back to chair. All the way down. Uttanasana, halfway up. Ardha Uttanasana, all the way down. And all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, back up. That was one. Pretty easy so far. Here's two. We go down. Breathe it halfway up. All the way down. Step or jump to plank pose. I do one push up here. Vashi Stasana, side plank. Variations on side plank are available. Other side. Back down, Chaturanga. Bhujangasana. If I'm feeling pretty stiff, I'll take it down and inhale it back up a couple of times here. Then I go to tabletop. For some good old cat cows, bring it in. Exhale, curl the spine. Inhale. Exhale. As much as needed. Before I turn it into my cat spiral, for the cage goes out to one side, down through the center, push it up to the other side, curl it at the top, and keep the rotation going. Remembering to breathe. Ideally, inhaling as your nose approaches your mat and exhaling the top of your curl. Switch directions when you're ready. And find the neutral spot again. Tuck the toes for downward dog. Alternate bending your knees, trying to get those heels toes to both to lay flat on the ground. I'm gonna do some leg lift series. I like to start with my left, but whatever you're comfortable with. Raising the leg straight up, uh, left foot up, and then I bring the knee sharply up to my same side elbow with a pointed foot, and then back up, center, back up, opposite. Repeat, up, same, up, center, up, opposite. One more time, up, same, up, center, up, opposite, and then it goes up, and the weight of the leg does the work to open up the hip, and place that foot back down, same thing, other side, right leg up, knee to the same side, up, center, up, opposite, breathing as your leg goes up, in, exhaling, comes back towards your face. Two. So here's my last set on this side. And right, yeah, and then the weight of the weight, weight of the weight, the weight of the foot, the weight of the leg does the work. And help if I push back into that down dog position. There we go. Drift it back to the ground. Hands uh <laughs> One of those days, lift your hands, step or jump your feet to your hands, breathe it halfway up, exhale all the way down, inhale into chair, Utkatasana, and twisting chair pose. All the way down, halfway up, all the way down, and all the way back up. All right, that was two, we got two more. Inhale up, exhale all the way down, inhale halfway up, exhale down, plank pose, push up, Vashi Satsana, side plank. I do a push up in the middle, Vashi Satsana. 
Chaturanga. Tuck the toes, down dog. Leg lifts again, this time just on one side. I'm gonna do my left first. Lift up. Two. Breathe it up one more time, and then put the foot between the hands. So you're in your lunge position to raise the chest for warrior one. And warrior one's actually my hardest position to try and keep my spine straight, my tailbone tucked down, my hips square, my back leg straight, and trying to evenly distribute the weight. And it's a deceptive pose. And if I planned this better, I would have opened up, would have started on my right side so I could open up here, but here we go. Opening up to warrior two. And then I do arm circles. So you're pushing the walls away, pushing everything out and circling for 20 forward. Exhaling over the straight back leg. Inhaling down through. I gotta go ahead and move this so you're never gonna see what this is. Total professional quality. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> so we exhale here. We're coming down in front. I like to rest kind of my uh, shoulder area here, but wherever you are is fine. Keeping this leg straight and I'm adding a twist. So I'm taking my um, up hand, my right hand behind my back. My left hand goes between my groin and I'm locking behind, looking over my top shoulder. There's a twist. And then I straighten this leg, triangle pose. Bend again to prepare for Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon Pose. And then plant the back foot. Um, let's move you again, shall we? <laughs> Where were you before? Here? About there? Sure. Okay. Plant the back foot. And so my left leg is forward. I'm going to take my right hand across my face. So I start right hand to left ear. It goes across the face, up the back of the head. And if you need to do more here, this is fantastic for rotator cuff and any shoulder loosening stuff in general. But I usually do one, doing multiple here for show. All right, so I take it, whoop, 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 and then it lands behind me to support my back for Peaceful Warrior. Come back up, my right hand comes up to meet my left, twisting inward. So my right elbow is on my left knee, looking up over my left shoulder. And I like to add the twist here as well. Trying to keep looking over your left shoulder. Then I go into splits, but you can certainly do splits or any runner's pose or pigeon, whatever feels good. Slide the leg back underneath your body. Standing up for some balance sequencing. Warrior three. Into tree. to extended tree, heel stretch. Into a runner stretch, grabbing the leg, trying to keep both thighs even, hips even. Into a little dance. 
into figure four, chair sit. And I like to imagine kind of I'm driving a big car here, so if I get off balance here, I can turn my big wheel. Both knees down for chair, twisting chair. Chair all the way down, halfway up. Exhale down, inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart, last one. Here we go. Come back to the top of my mat here. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale halfway up. Exhale all the way down. Plank pose. Push up. Vashi Sasana. Side plank. Other side. Chaturanga. Uttangasana. Down dog, right leg sequence, leg up, same knee. Sometimes I gotta figure out where my foot was supposed to go, especially now when I'm trying to rush here. Two, pushing the walls away. Straightening to triangle pose, launching into half moon, planting the back foot, left hand starts at my right ear, across the face, up the back of the head, across the face, up the back of the head, do a couple times, because it feels good, and one more, the hand lands behind, dipping it back and facing the Forward, left hand meets, twisting the left elbow over the right knee, looking up over the right shoulder, adding a twist when ready. Um, this one was really tricky for me for a long time, and I found if I'm making sure that my back leg is straight and I'm lifting the knee and really trying to focus putting my weight through my big toe first, it's helpful for me. Sliding into split or pigeon or any kind of a runner's lunge. That feels good to you. Sliding the foot back, standing up, launching forward into warrior three. Into tree. And into extended tree. Or whatever that is for you. Feel free to skip or alter or add or change. Runner's lunge. Figure four chair sit. Get your feet left. Regular chair. Twisting chair. Chair all the way down. Halfway up. All the way down. All the way up. Now 
Namaste. So that was kind of frantic of me, but um, I kind of just did the whole thing in 15 minutes. So it really doesn't take that long. And once you get the muscle memory in, um, it becomes really fun and meditative for me. So I hope it is for you too. And if not, I hope you find something else that works.